YouTube, welcome back to JDS Outdoors. This episode I'm going to be going over the 1048. Kind of uh, what to do, what not to do if you want to build your own boat. So, without uh, further ado, what we're going to do. We'll start off with uh, explaining the inside. Go over to the inside here. It's just a wide open floor plan. And I have this little folding seat that I use um, I, so I can move my weight around and I'm not uh, limited to where I can sit. Also, that'll help to carry a lot of weight. Uh, it's just a flat floor with a sheet that's screwed down and it's got 2 inch foam underneath it. Uh, this is a 10 foot long, 48 inches wide at the bottom John boat powered by a 15 horse Johnson. Does about 26 miles an hour on a lake and 30 miles an hour down river. So what I did right on this boat is I made it wide open and I made it wide. So that makes it super stable in the water. I also added these legs to the back which try to get out of the sun here. I guess they're not legs, they're wheels. Now these wheels fold up and down extremely easy. You just pull this pin and then the wheel folds up. pin back in and you're floating. Now so this boat kind of acts as its own trailer which is nice. I use my four-wheeler to pull it to the boat launch and when I get in the water as I'm motoring out of the no wake zone then I uh, put the wheels up in the up position just like that. And then when I get back into the no wake zone pull the pin, flip it down wheels back in lock position down and then I can burn it back home so if you're looking to build your own boat here's what I did wrong on this when I built this boat I welded all of the sheet metal together I started off with tacking it together on the seams getting the shape of a boat I built it in a jig a wood jig and I welded all the seams fully on the sides and the transom before I added any stringers along the bottom and why that was a bad idea is because it allowed the metal to twist and contort a little bit and uh, the floor the bottom of the boat was no longer flat so when I went to weld in all these support stringers along the, the sides there you can see a couple and also when I welded those guys on, the, the angle pieces on the bottom, when I welded those on, it wasn't flat. So I ended up having to use a hammer to beat, <laughs> to, to beat the bottom flat, flatter a little bit. Well, that worked for the most part. However, uh, the bottom ended up being a little wavy and uh, not 100% flat but it's waterproof it floats it, uh, it it does what it's supposed to is it perfect absolutely not this boat will probably end up getting uh, it, it won't get sold it'll end up getting cut up before it gets sold it's just a practice boat uh, to which I learned I learned a lot about um, what to do and what not to do so that's what I want to share with you guys so you want to build your own boat biggest piece of advice I can give is to tack the sides, tack all the sheet metal together build your interior framework for the floor and then do a full weld on your outside after you have the interior framework that's going to help hold the strength or help keep the metal straight and hold the strength of the metal a lot better than just welding the sheet metal, letting it warp and twist and whatnot. 
before you get your framework built. So that's the biggest piece of advice is to do that framework after you get attacked, then fully weld. So um, another thing I did on this boat with these, uh, well, I guess how I did these back wheels here is I took a piece of U-channel, piece of U-channel. It's about 13 to 14 inches long and I cut a piece of inch and a half square tubing and used that for the leg essentially. At the bottom I got a piece of quarter inch aluminum and I welded it to the inch and a half tubing and then I just bolted these Harbor Freight caster wheels to the bottom and added a stainless steel bolt right here to go across and then I just drilled holes. Drilled the hole through here, drilled the hole through here with this flipped up and uh, yeah put put a hitch pin in it and flip up flip down it, it's awesome works good for moving it around the, around the garage don't need a trailer I live close enough to a bolt launch to where uh, it doesn't matter um, doesn't matter to trailer it or not the bolt launch is literally a block and a half away so that is that so this is uh wrapping this video up for the, uh, the 1048 beater John boat hope uh, hope you guys found some insight if you are planning on building your own boat and uh, that's about it thanks for uh, thanks for watching JDS outdoors always appreciate the uh, the love and support have a good one